Well, guys, here is a brand new track that Garrett made, as this is ROL MJ World Finals 2023, I think it was called, as this is for a league he was working on, I think, but never happened, so he gave me a track to debut, and he sent this to me, I think it was back in March, but we it took till this month to finally get him working, because every time I tried to load it up, it wouldn't load up whatsoever, it kept crashing. So, yeah, we finally got loaded up last night to finally check it out as it looks nice so far but of course there's free variations although one of them I'm only gonna look at because it's basically freestyle but with some differences to it so anyways of course let's try it back up overshot the line let me make sure I'm still in um hip on max shift all right here we go so now I'll try out racing of course not really good for some reason Vegas style race on ROR Always difficult to um, thread the needle. And I went very, very wide right there. The turns are very wide. And not not just wide, but very, um like, sh sharp. And the jump's, like, right there. So you have to, like, really go wi wide to line up for it. All right, so that was that lane. And here we go over here. And here we go try out this side. Sucks there's no timer. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. I have problems in tight wit areas like that. High speeds when I'm turning. And that's not... It's also not really good to have the, um... Triple so close to the, um... To the, um... Lane that, like, constricts you too. Might... Should have probably moved it back a little bit. Because you can see it's, like, sticking out right here. This could be a big problem for trucks in this lane. So you might have... Should have stuck a little bit more towards here more. It would have been... A nice gap in between that and the other racing lane. Alright, so now, gonna go show off this. Yeah, our Riggs of Rods Monster Jam World Finals. This is the practice version, which is racing, but just without the paint on it. Nothing else really to say much about it. So now, to go try out the freestyle version. And here we go, load it up. As here is the freestyle version. I see this version has a camper stack right here. Like a different um, camper that I've seen. Looks really cool. This, I'm guessing, semi-trailer backflip wall. Looks really cool. And then he went overkill on the triple by putting campers up there. Uh, Garrett, I'm pretty sure if that was done in real life, they probably wouldn't be able to clear it at first. They probably would smash through it and stuff like that. So, maybe you shouldn't have put that many up there or put them somewhere else. Because I don't think it's really a good place, but at least for right off the bat. Took out that one racing lane and put a camp right there. Now, that's a little bit more reasonable. Although, it's a little bit off the side, it looks like to me. Probably should be moved over towards here more. He had two vans on that stack right there. And, yeah, I think that's everything else he had on this version. So, bring out Quick Strike. Because last night, too, it was a pain in the ass. But after over a year, I filmed, filmed the newest version of my Rigs of Rods event me freestyle competition video. So ho hoping to get to work on that very soon. So now let's get to work on freestyle. Alright, so now we already tried that race. Let's try this one because this one's a different jump. Up and over it. Big air. As now. Going back for it. I'm going to nosedive. It took a big hard hit. As we'll go for that. Okay, so now we're going to go back here. Alright, now we're going to go check out this backflip wall. And over-rotated... And not going to be able to save it, unfortunately. It's hack save my way out of it. Or never mind, can't even hack save out of it. Alright, try out this side. Why is it neutral? There we go. Going to get that backflip. Make sure it was in first gear. Alright, now for that jammer. Huge air. And now I'm going to go right back for it. Here we go. Big air. Okay. So, now to go line up for the center jump. Of 
course. I wonder how it's going to react with the camper right there. Probably go through it. Okay, went right through it. Although that wouldn't be realistic as far as... Oh my god, that hit right there. That wouldn't be realistic at first, but it was still beautiful. And now I'm going to go right back for it. Here we go up and over it. Alright, so now we're going to try out this lane. As right for it. Big air off of it. Alright, so now we're going to go back for it. Here we go now for the tankers. Could be a little tricky. But hey, nice air off of it. Kind of remind me how my original planned jump set up for um, the 2015 MTW's Championship with the container was supposed to be something like that. Just go straight up and over like that. But didn't quite work out as planned as I did a horrible lineup for that jump. Oh, that was terrible. All right, now they go line up for the triple. Let's see if it's possible to clear it, even though realistically it wouldn't clear because it would go right through it. And yep, I cleared it. And gonna go over. Not gonna be able to save it. So flip it back around. Here we go. Oh boy, line up straight. There we go. Some huge air off of it. Okay, so now let's go crawl through him this time because I didn't try out the middle camper, but probably going to go through it, of course. See how smooth these jumps are. Or going over the buses. Nice. And now i got to go try it once again from this side. Oh boy, oh boy. Hold on. All right. There we go. Now they go try out this backflip or semi-trailer. It's a really low one, too. Oh, my! Was not expected that! Oh, my goodness! Oh, if you're going to backflip, you should be doing the other side. Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God. I didn't think I even floated it that hard. Garrett, you might need to look into that. Oh, my God. That should have been a smooth jump. Not freaking backflipping it. All right. Now we're going to try out this side see if you are backflippable. Alright, just going through it like a semi trailer. Okay. Yeah. That's like Garrett, the ramps were like flipped. That should have that this side should have been that smooth too. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, and couldn't save it. Alright. Now let's try to camper this side. Up and over it. Probably should have been like going through it like the other ones. Oh boy, once again, gonna go over and gonna save it on the rebound. Alright, so now I'm going to go for that camper this side. Some huge air since I'm right in front of it. Oh boy, oh boy. Might as well just line up for it. Going to go for this backflip. And I'm going to go over and rotate. Oh boy. And oh boy. And not going to be able to save it. Alright, now they go try out. This hill. Over the fountain. Oh boy! Save it! Yeah! Gonna get that save. It's gonna be the same jump either side. Because they're both same same shape and all that. And now they go try out the oh boy. Oh, come on! Quick strike! Quit sidewalling it! We got one more obstacle to try out! Oh my god, will you stop? Well, I tell you to stop, you need to just stop. It's like, sit down so I can get back to... Oh my god, can you just get out of here? It's one more jump for Crown Lab. Let me test it out. Garrett's been waiting for three bumps for this. And there we go. Finally tested everything out. And that was a fun track. As this is um, Riggs of Rods Monster Jam World Finals 2023 that Garrett made. Fun track and all that. Although some of the obstacles reacted a little bit different than I would expect. Or should. And race through point needs to be fixed a little bit. But that was fun all. And now hopefully, sometime soon, to get to debuting some trucks on both RR and Beam if we get the Beam version to work. So see you guys next time.